today we are walking around Hawthorne. Hawthorne's a lovely suburb. We're here and we're just going to go up around the corner. I want to show you guys something that's quite, it's not unusual, but it will give you an idea of actually what and how things happen and what happens to old houses here. And guys, yesterday we saw the yellow lines on the road. If you watched my video from yesterday, the yellow lines means no parking. And it's obviously to give visibility and because this street's not very wide. So as we come up the top of Hawthorne, and Hawthorne did actually flood, but this area didn't. A few years back there was some really disastrous flooding. So as you can see, we've got the mixture of the older houses here. But I want to show you this unit block. we come up we can see this beautiful house and feel free to google I will put the map locations in the description box as well so you can easily find it but here's what I want to show you and if you are new here don't forget to like and subscribe chuck in a comment below so I know that these videos are appreciative oh that's a hill I'll just go over here in the shade it's quite warm today I think we must be reaching 30s if not more okay so here you have a block of units and as you can see this is what I've been trying to tell you in my broadcast that that's an older house there and what they've done is they've put it up higher they've built underneath it now this would have been on a huge block as you can see there's lots of blocks of units here and what they did was they put a law in and I'll have to find out and get more history about this law where you're not allowed to demolish houses that are built before a certain point and that's because then Brisbane has character and it's keeping in with the theme of the area so that's what they've done here they've built the house up and then they've built all these units there that have fitted in with the theme of the house I'll bring you up let you see from across the road and you can see here from Hawthorne you can see the view of the city there and that bridge that you can see there in the distance that's called the Story Bridge and I hope to take you one day over there on a walk so there's two older houses here that we can look at and I will I hope the wind's not too bad I will cross the road here so you can see it much better and I'll put all the information in the description box so You've got this nice classic house here and then you've got the one it's quite a wide block and then you've got this one here and they're wanting they're, they're letting you know that you can split the block in half so obviously they're looking for a developer so it is going to rain soon and it is quite hot i will put in the comment section there how hot it is the both the humidity and the heat and they'll give you an idea of this area now this street is nice and wide much wider than the street that we walked yesterday that was near a few schools and had a few yellow lines if you knew the channel don't forget to click on the like and subscribe where I just go walking and show you different areas and we discuss prices houses and what's been sold because I find that interesting let me know if you find it that interesting and also too if you see anything or if you want to see anything let me know so there's 12 units here as opposed to probably just two houses that were probably there originally maybe even three it's quite a wide block but we'll definitely look at that and I'll put as many links as I can in the description and as you can hear the wire birds so we'll get around the corner and I'll show you back the other two houses here that are up for sale as well it's quite funny I was doing a live on another channel and someone stopped and said is everything okay <laughs> and I'm like yes so I knew one day someone's going to see me recording and think they've done something wrong I think he thought that my car was parked there so there is a bit of a wind here we're facing um, so 
facing as you go down here past Dutton Street backs onto the river and in a lot of council areas they put these on the council land their frangipani trees I'll take you to an area one day that has them all around the area they can be messy but they look beautiful when they're in bloom so I hope everyone stays good as I said if you enjoy these let me know otherwise I might think I'm wasting my time so as we turn into Dutton Street on Hawthorne we'll look at these two houses both are for auction one was auctioned yesterday oh look there's a walkway down there we'll walk down there shall we I knew there was a park somewhere so there's two houses here for auction one has already been auctioned and I'm unsure of the price that was auctioned yesterday but they're the original owners these houses or oh, I know for sure the left one was rented out I think for 300 600 dollars a week and a lot of investors at the moment are selling their houses they're seeing the golden egg and getting out but these were bought in nine this one was bought in 1989 so it's going quite a fair way back but as I said look in the description box the links will be there let me know as well if you find out anything but let's go down here let's see where this leads to I knew there was a park around here we'll just see whether the house is back onto the park hey So as we go down, it's a nice little walkway, it's well kept. And it actually looks like a cricket pitch from the fence, so we'll see. It does look like a cricket pitch, don't you think guys? So come down here. Let me know if you've got any suggestions also for the channel. That would be great. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to like the broadcast. Yes, it is a cricket pitch. Oh, there's birds that swoop. So I just have to be a bit careful here. But I think we're past swooping season. So this is, we'll see what um, ground this is. I'm not too sure. Normally there's a signage of what cricket team it's for. So if you like cricket, maybe the Hawthorne area is for you. It says home of the Panthers. There you go. It's a beautiful cricket pitch and they use it for an AFL oval as well. So as you can see, Hawthorne's quite hilly with the houses in the distance. It did flood around here and I will put the link to where it did flood back a couple of years ago. And look, and we do get the planes over here now. A lot of the residents are against it planes come overhead I think I might hear one now we'll see they built a second runway and apparently the planes were supposed to go over the water but instead they're going over the houses which unfortunately it is a thing with convenience and where houses are built here's a plane now I think maybe not so Oh yes, it's coming in. So we'll just see how and where the plane goes, shall we? Otherwise it'd be quite a quiet area. Oh yep, you can definitely hear it. It comes right overhead. And Brisbane, from my understanding, is a 24 hour airport. So if you've lived here for a long time and you haven't had this noise, I think you'd find it quite annoying. So it's, oh, it's the helicopter, it's the Care Flight helicopter. But as you can see, it goes straight over. It goes straight over there. So guys, I'm gonna bid you farewell. I hope that you guys like this live. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to click on the like and subscribe. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see, what you'd like to ask me, and I'll definitely follow it up. But have a good day and good day to you.